Start your engines. Team, a lot of good skaters and a uh, good tough team, I guess. And uh, great goaltending, too. So we got a great team. Now. The NHLPA presents Be a Player, the Hockey Show on TSN. Brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. And by Upper Deck. You don't just watch the game, you play it. Uh, this week on the show, we are rocking, literally. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Be a Player, the hockey show. I'm your host, Paul Romana, coming to you this week from Denver, Colorado, otherwise known as the Mile High City. You know, Denver is the smallest four-sport town in North America. Just think about it. Just try getting a ticket to watch the Denver Broncos play. The Denver Nuggets of the NBA are here. The Colorado Rockies, great success story in Major League Baseball. And for our purposes this week, the Colorado Avalanche, a great return for NHL hockey to Denver this year. Coming up in the show, we're going to talk to one of the sharpest shooters in the Colorado Avalanche. That would be Peter Forsberg, last year's Rookie of the Year. Coming up, Gretz will be along with his a great moment, and it is a great one. A young goaltender leads the Montreal Canadiens to a Stanley Cup championship. Our hockey hero, Andy Bathgate. This guy stuck around for 16 years in a tough NHL, played with Toronto, played with Detroit, played with the Pittsburgh Penguins and the New York Rangers. But let's start things off rocking with the Billboard Hit Parade. Colton in, throws it on Samuels, his shoulder, Grant the first, is a SCORE!
goal scores! Oh, Kamensky, what a backhand shot that was! And as they say, the hits just keep on coming here on Be A Player. It is trivia time now. Trivia on this show, as you well know by now, is no trivial matter. Here is the drill one more time. What you do is you run. You run. You do not walk to your computer. You log on to the NHLPA website. The address, once again, is NHLPA.com. What we do is we take the first correct answer after I've asked the question. That person will receive an electronic hockey video game courtesy of EA Sports. Then we take all the correct answers before the answer is given a little bit later on in the show and we draw from those names from our electronic hat one lucky person who will win an NHLPA hockey jersey autographed to boot not a bad deal but again you have to get on and give your answer before the players come up later on in the show with the answer otherwise it'd be cheating and we can't have that it's against the law or something anyway here's the question ready set go what current NHL player won the Conn Smythe trophy that's the MVP award during the Stanley Cup playoffs during a year in which he did not win the Stanley Cup. Okay, the current NHL player who won the Conn Smythe Trophy but didn't play on the Stanley Cup winning team. Good luck. Hockey and football team sports, of course, but you tend to think, especially at the professional level, of individuals being synonymous with teams. Denver Broncos, John Elway, one of the great quarterbacks in the history of the NFL, and we walk from football over to hockey. You're looking at McNichol Sports Arena, the home of the Colorado Avalanche, and we're talking about last year's Rookie of the Year. The subject of this week's profile, Peter Forsberg. On the wing, fed in over the line, and a chance with a shot to score. A ripping shot by Forsberg hits the top corner of the net. Attacking in deeper to Forsberg, Lake Penley against the Canucks. They said it's score! Colorado Tell me a bit about where you come from, a bit about your town, uh, your family. What do you remember about growing up? I come from uh, like like a small part of small town in Sweden, cold. Pretty hard for you to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Unschuldig, and it's like a population of sixty thousand people. Pretty small, like a hockey town. Uh, I want to ask you about your family. Um, who would you say that that you're more like? Uh, are you more like your mother, or are you more like your father? Maybe more about like my father. I guess he was he's into hockey all the time, and uh, I guess I follow him pretty much when I was younger too. Were you surprised that he uh, that he got the coaching job he did with the national team? A little bit. It's good for him. I think it's a great opportunity for him. Sandy takes his time to the side for Forsberg, sweeps around, scores! Is it still something special, though, to be wearing uh, your country's flag? You grew up in that land, in that country, and you feel proud to, to play for it, to, to represent it. It's like it to be in a, in a war, I guess, and represent your country. And maybe a good memory would be the, uh, the Olympics. Uh, when you scored the winning goal, uh, what do you remember about that? You know, I was I stayed home one reason I want to play the Olympic Games, and uh, you know we were in the final and the shootout was just great when we won it. Um, before you came over here, um, you said you wanted to stay home to, to play in the Olympics and so on. Um, did you expect to come over right after the Olympics, or had you had you sort of left it where you were going to make a decision later or think about it? No, I was I signed the contract contact the year, the year before and uh, I was going after the season. That's what's, uh, what the contract said. I ask you about winning the Rookie of the Year award. Um, going into the season everybody was saying, ah, Peter Forsberg, he's the favorite to win the award. Did you think you'd win it? No, not when I got in. I didn't know if I was going to make the team or not. So it was really tough in the beginning too. I think he's quiet and uh, he could really be a big star in this league. I think if you look at his skills and how strong he is and the way he plays the game, I think he can be one of the best players in this league. But I think he just wants to go out and win and, and win a Stanley Cup and, and have fun and, and not really, uh, he doesn't go around looking for, uh, you know, public appearances or, or, uh, or media attention. He just wants to go out and play. At what point uh, in the season did you start to feel really comfortable? Well, after like half the season or after 24 games it started to the, the play started to go well and uh, like when got to know each other my me my teammates and uh, you know we had a 
like the team was doing really well all the season. That's one big part that helped me, I guess. What was the uh, what was the toughest team to play against? The toughest team? I don't know. So many teams are tough. We only play one division too, I guess. And uh, Philadelphia is pretty hard, and Washington plays pretty tough too. Toughest player to face? Oh, the, one of the one of the guys that got everything is Lindros, I guess. He's big and great skating, and he's got everything, I guess. Glenn Lindros, what time he scores? Do you remember uh, any kind of an encounter with him, uh, him hitting you or you hitting him or anything like that? I don't hit him that much. <laughs> uh, he's, yeah, actually my third shift in the league when we played for the first game. He just rocked me. My helmet flew off and it was pretty fun there, I guess. Pass behind the view, picks it off. The it's that pretty, it's Forsberg. Does it seem uh, easier this year, having only one year under your belt? It's easier to get over it, but the play, it's pretty hard. Every game is tough, and we're facing, like a new season for me, we're facing you know, the other teams that we didn't play last year, and a new city, so it's pretty, pretty hard this, this year, too. nice intercept, gives it up, shot, score! What's this team like? Um, how would you describe the character of this team? We got a fast team, a lot of good skaters, and a good tough team, I guess. And uh, great goaltending too. So we got a great team. On the ice, I remember one time in Edmonton, he was killing a penalty, and uh, he had the puck in their zone, and three guys were swarming around him, and. Uh, we're like, oh, just get it in deep, Peter. And uh, he came out of the pile with the puck, and all those three guys were running into each other. And he skated all the way back in our end and killed another 15, 20 seconds. But, uh, you know, that was pretty amazing. The whole bench was laughing and going, that, that guy's amazing. What is it that you want to develop into during your NHL career? How much better can you get? I hope I can get better. That's you got to think that all, all the time, that you got to practice some stuff and get better and improve. And, every area and uh, but the shot is one thing I got to improve in like the physical place. Peter, what, uh, what do you want to accomplish? I mean, uh, I know you want to win a Stanley Cup, but individually, when your career is finished in the NHL, what would you like to have accomplished? What do you want to look back on and go, I did what I wanted to do? No, I don't have a specific goal, so I just go out and do my best every game. I don't think about what I'm going to achieve or anything like that. I'm just going to do my best every game. What do you got for us? Can you sign up here? Okay. 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 The trap gun, but no safety on it. No safety? Keep it pointing to the ground, hey. Did it go? Girl to the ground. Let's go, boys. Oh! 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 Cool. <laughs> Why did you pick trap shooting to go to as an activity today? <laughs> what was I the didn't rationale? pick it. I didn't pick it. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to try. It was really tough, really hard. I didn't. I, had, I think I made three shots, so forty. You got three for three, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, in a while there, I was. I was doing great. <laughs> oh, baby! There's another five in a row. <laughs> We set him on the, the far end of the shooting range and there was five of us across and I would shoot first and the next guy would shoot and the next guy would shoot and here's Peter, he's last and aims up to shoot and his gun won't work. Well now he's he's playing with the trigger and he starts all of a sudden he starts turning around <laughs> and pointing at everyone else and everyone's diving everywhere. We're going, oh my god, but I mean we survived out of that one. <laughs> Yeah!
Were you a little concerned that uh, Peter Forsberg, I mean, he's your big sniper, but he wasn't hitting the targets? Well, you know, as long as he hits them uh, on the ice, that's all right. We'll take care of the ones uh, off the ice as long as he puts them in on the ice. But uh, I think we were more worried about the way he was handling the gun than uh, about the way he was shooting. Oh. But uh, I think he's learned a lot. Maybe now we'll take him out. Maybe Adam will take him out and teach him a few lessons. Well, he scored an Olympic gold medal. Well, he can hit a bird. Did you think it would be that hard? No. I didn't think that. It was really tough. Although not very tough for uh, Adam Denmark. No, he, he was a real shooter. That's tough, boys. That's tough. Yeah, you got it. Second shot. Uh, He's on the scoreboard. <laughs> That's the first bird killed in the history of the Swedish national team. <laughs> this Be A Player profile has been brought to you by Duracell. You can't top the copper top. Great Hockey Moments with Wayne Gretzky is brought to you by Upper Deck. You don't just watch the game, you play it. In 1971, an unknown goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens made one of the most impressive debuts in the history of professional sports. His name was Ken Dryden. The Canadiens have finished fourth overall that year, a full 24 points behind the heavily favored Boston Bruins. Coach Al McNeil gambled and started Dryden, but played only six regular season games and against the Bruins, Dryden starred. Again and again, he befuddled the mighty Boston shooters and led the Habs to one of the biggest upsets in playoff history. Against the Blackhawks in the finals, Dryden stood tall again and again, and the Canadians prevailed in a tough seven-game series. Somehow, Dryden manages to keep the puck up. Dryden won the Conn Smythe Trophy for his outstanding play, and proved he was no fluke by capturing the Calder the following year. Ken Dryden is considered one of the top goaltenders of all time and spent eight seasons providing Montreal fans with great moments in hockey. This is our last Be a Player of the season. Thanks for watching and remember, there's more great moments to come. I'm Wayne Gretzky. It's time for John Davidson's Hockey Heroes. Brought to you by Bauer and Cooper. The names the names wear. While the Hall of Fame celebrates the exploits of hockey's great goal scorers, there's also a place reserved for players who took pride in their passing. One of the best playmakers the game has ever seen was Andy Bathgate. Here's Kelly's shot. That's right in front. Todd Tuck made the save and rebounds back to Andy Bathgate. He's getting set. He shoots. Oh, he scores. He caught the short side. An excellent shooter and strong skater, it was his intuitive passing that set Bathgate apart. In 10 years with the New York Rangers, the right winger was consistently among the league leaders in assists. In the 1958-59 season, Andy tallied 88 points and captured the Hart Trophy as league MVP. In 1964, Bathgate was part of a blockbuster trade that saw the Leafs send five players to the Rangers in exchange for Andy's slick playmaking ability. The trade paid immediate dividends as the Leafs won their third consecutive championship with Bathgate as a key contributor. Win the Stanley Cup. Over 17 seasons with the Rangers, Leafs, Red Wings and Penguins, Andy led the NHL in assists four times. An all-star selection on four occasions, Andy Bathgate took his place in the Hall of Fame in 1978. For Hockey Heroes, I'm John Davidson. This week's trivia question is, what can I tell who is the Via first? Via Player Trivia is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the yeah, game. Yeah, Jeopardy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, boys, what, uh, what current NHL player won the Conn Smythe Trophy in the losing effort? Oh, there's a tough one. I'm going to have to say Al McInnes. 
<laughs> no, they won. They won. No, they. Um, oh, well, I know that one too. Do you? That's Nelson. Oh, oh yeah, I'm right. I know it. I don't know it. No. How many years ago? Oh. I'd say about nine. Yeah, eight or nine years ago. I wasn't nine playing then. I know. Well, oh, so what? I what? Should, did I you should, watch hockey? I did. I watched every game. Can you give us a hint? Any teams? Any teams? No. No hints. Give it away. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Well, he uh, actually. Want a hint? He's he, still playing. He won it. He. Uh, Is he? Yeah. And you know what? Is it Hexel? He won it in this arena. Patrick Roy. No. Hexel. Absolutely. Hexel. I'll tell you that. Uh, how about Ron Hextall? That's right. Uh, I'll say I'll say my good friend Ron Hextall. I think you're right. Well, folks, that's a pretty good guess. The answer to this week's trivia question is Ron Hextall. <laughs> and, and you're Did right. Did I get it? You got yeah. it. Uh, the correct answer to this trivia question, Ron Hextall. Bring your name. See, I was watching. I wasn't playing. I was watching. He was a rookie too, wasn't he? I don't know. Second year thing. I was in college. Second I was year. probably at yeah, was Mark's studying. tavern. <laughs> he was at the tavern, yeah, <laughs> studying at the tavern. Then on the turning stick of Rick Pocket. Kept away by Nielsen who moves back in. Hands over to Messier. Hit by save! So that wraps it up for our show this week, and believe it or not, that wraps it up for another season here on Be A Player, the hockey show. It has absolutely flown by as these things tend to. Uh, we've had a ton of fun putting this show together. If you've had half as much fun watching it, then uh, I'm guessing you had a pretty good time. So on behalf of, let me see, I don't want to forget anybody, there'd be Wayne Gretzky, John Davidson, Craig Simpson, and a cast of thousands of very talented people hard at work behind the cameras and microphones who you don't see every week when you watch the show. Thanks a lot been a lot of fun. You can reach us as always with comments at our web and the cameras and microphones so you don't see every week when you watch the show. Thanks a lot. It's been a lot of fun. You can reach us as always with comments at our website. That's NHLPA.com. NHLPA.com. Keep the electronic uh, cards and letters coming in. I'm Paul Romanuk. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you down the road. Here we are at Harvard University with Paul Roman. Okay. It's up. Uh, now, you know. Did he say goal, uh, Sean? Ten in regular season scoring since. Hey, what's he going to say? Gentlemen, start your end. Please contact us via the internet at NHLPA.com with your questions and comments about Be a Player, the hockey show. Be a Player, the hockey show on TSN has been brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. And by Upper Deck. You don't just watch the game, you play it. If a hen and a half can lay an egg and a half in an hour and a half, how many pancakes does it take to shingle a doghouse? Correct answers first, please. See that, Mom? <laughs> Ooh, look at that, all in the same vicinity. See that, kid? Oh, oh Peter! <laughs> you can finish this sentence for me. The thing that people should know about Peter Forsberg is... He loves to sleep. I think out there today. Yeah, you know, get up and brag about it. You know, he's like, I got three and a half in today, Adam. And I'm like, yeah, good job, Peter. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> oh, I was really nervous, because I didn't know a thing. I thought... Jim Carrey's like gonna get it and I had to think about the speech, you know, I had some problem with the English and <sighs> camera's right, the camera's in the way. I almost shot the cameraman. <laughs> yes, baby! Two more! Woo! I almost fell, fell out on the way up there, I guess. Not many people saw that. I missed a step there. <laughs>